All right, talk to us. Bro, I don't give a f- bro. They held me down and they made me watch the little kids get. I don't give a f- anymore. Where? Bro, they f- and took me to the f- in woods, bro, and they f- tied. I'm not f- joking, bro. I have f- proof, bro. I don't give a f- bro. I f- will show you every f- video you could ever f- believe. Bohemian Grove is real. They f- tied me down and they made me f- and watch, dog. I absolutely don't give a f- anymore. Yes, I f- lost it. There be little kids. Come on, fuck this side, bro. This dude, dude. Who? Who? Bro, you, know you, the- you know you know the higher elites, bro. You already know who they are, bro. You, you know the path Andrew, you're going down is dangerous, my friend. I don't I'm give a... I don't give a... They can't touch me. I'm a god. Well, that's the first point of contention because I care about you a lot and I can assure you from my own personal experience that they can touch you. Which is bro, the worst no, they it. can't, bro. All right, so come touch me, you fucking... You have proof of these things? A- on, you have proof of this on your phone? Yes, of course I do. Bohemian Grove is real. Bohemian Grove is real. Now, a lot of people, for those of you guys who don't know, this is uh, Ryan Garcia. He's a famous, um, what is he? Uh, uh, boxer. He's a famous boxer. And uh, I don't know if this is real. I don't know if this is, I don't know if he's hallucinating or whatever. Um, he is kind of like a, he's kind of an iffy individual. Maybe that's just his personality, but yeah, I wouldn't doubt the Bohemian Grove is real. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, I've, we've seen the Alex Jones thing. We've seen all the videos. Um, you know, we, we know we have clues and hints on what they do behind the scenes, the, the higher elites. Um, the Bible says that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. We wrestle against principalities. We wrestle against spirits okay, in high places. Our battle, our war, is a spiritual war. And now there are verses in the Bible that talk about conspiracy and things like that. Yeah, sure, we can go to those to those things. But let me take you to something to, to somewhere deeper. Now, this is a child sacrifice that they do here at the Bohemian Grove. Is what I'm hearing. Is what I've read about. They do child sacrifice. It is. Um, the god Molech or Mo- Molek or Molek or whatever, which is child sacrifice. This is also written in the Bible. They also sacrifice children to the to the god Baal. The Israelites used to do this when they um, when they turned their backs against God and they used to uh, you know sacrifice uh, their children. They put their children through the fire. Um, the Bible also says that in Isaiah and I think it's in Jeremiah, Ezekiel. Um, where in Ezekiel, God says, hey, you're putting your children through the fire. That's them sacrificing their children to Malek or to, to, to Baal, okay, to this golden statue of a bull, okay, golden statue of a bull, golden idol of a bull. A bull is, an, is a beast. So it's a golden image of a beast, okay, image of a beast. Okay, but anyways, let's look at this, man. We're, we, we are battling a spiritual battle. We are at war, not against flesh and blood, but against Satan himself. Now, remember, in Revelation 12, let me watch this. By the way, for those of you guys who want pocket Bibles, link for these are in the description box below. Very convenient. Put it in your pocket, hands-free. All you, all you men out there that don't want to carry Bibles, don't want to carry things because you just want to walk around being lazy, pocket bible okay no excuse link for these is in the description box below let's go to revelation 12 watch this revelation 12 ryan garcia stumbled upon a spiritual warfare revelation 12 let's go to revelation 12 real quick it says in revelation 12 now there is a dragon in revelation 12 and that dragon it says and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and satan which deceiveth the whole world he was cast out um, into the earth and his angels were cast out with him watch this before he was cast out what was he trying to do look and there appeared a great wonder in heaven this is verse one there appeared a great wonder in heaven a woman clothed with the sun and the moon was under her feet 
and upon her head a crown of twelve stars, and she, being with child, cried, tra um, travailing in birth, and pained to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads, and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child, okay, as soon as it was born. So, who did this originate from? This whole child sacrifice thing. It originated from the devil and you can see you can see the devil influencing people within the bible to do this herod did it when jesus christ was born and that's that's exactly what this is talking about herod did it who else did it pharaoh did it pharaoh tried to kill all the, ba the little baby boys okay in egypt and now we have in modern time in modern time, in these modern days, we have the higher elites sacrificing babies and, and other infants and, and doing all kinds of things with them. Watch this. Look what it says about the dragon. It says that the serpent was cast out, right? And the serpent was cast out, okay? Um, this is in verse 9. The dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is salvation and strength and, uh, and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren, that's the devil, is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Okay, now watch this. And when the dragon, this is verse 13, saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth, forth the man-child, okay? And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, and she might fly into the wilderness into her place where she is nourished for a time, times and a half a time from the face of the serpent. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood, after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood, and the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth, and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. What is the remnant of her seed? That's the offspring. Uh, that is that. That's the offspring. The, the remainder of the offspring of the woman, the offspring, that's the youth. That word offspring means youth. So who is the one influencing these higher elites to sacrifice babies and infants and the youth? The devil himself. Ryan Garcia stumbled across spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare that led into something physical because they are physically killing babies and infants and youth. If you guys look this up, this is it's totally disgusting. Totally disgusting. Anyways, anyways, again, guys, if you guys want one of these Bibles, links for these are in the description box very convenient for those of the you got you men out there that don't want to carry things i know because i'm like that i don't want to carry things in my hand when i'm when i'm going somewhere when i'm walking to places even when i go to church i i do carry my bible but sometimes i just put it down on the on the table this pocket bible so convenient links for these are in the description box below guys there is spiritual warfare, and we need to be armored with the armor of God. Thank you guys again for watching. If you guys like this video, please like and share. Share this video with your friends and your family, coworkers, whoever you want this video to bless them or bless whoever you want with this video. If you guys want to support, you guys can do so by praying for this ministry and also donating at schoolforprofits.tv, or you guys can purchase the 
Pocket Bible there. All the links are in the description box. This is what I do to support my family and to support this ministry. So it does help. Thank you guys again. Praise God always. See you guys on the next one. Peace. Avocado Grease.